thank you sir uh, we have heard a lot of a uh, lot of talk about uh, rising above politics but for the last half an hour all i heard was a level of politics that would rather suit the delhi legislative assembly more i respect it more than this house yes. be that as it may sir we have risen to because we are duty bound to stand up for federalism for the spirit of federalism that holds this country together in spite of whatever some temporary occupants of power may think they have this country has essentially survived on the spirit of heterogeneity do not go in for homogeneity do not go in for trampling do not go in for one way decisions the very decision that you have taken or about to take or about asking us to endorse is one that speaks of control my former speaker mr singhvi has already mentioned about these things in 2011 after several discussions three bodies were trifurcated out of the municipal corporation of delhi okay you know that i know that now you say the honorable home minister who has introduced the topic of not speaking on polite politics only mentions that they have a revenue deficit fair enough so if one has a revenue deficit of 2 the other has a revenue deficit of 3 the third has a revenue deficit of 4 if you add them together you get minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 9 where do you get the positive from i administration has been my occupation so i would know that just the mere reunification of three disparate bodies that were split for an administrative reason does not confer ipso facto any virtue of revenue uh, stability that's my first point the second i would say is it's a question of compactness of administration do i take this as a hint that you would not go in for splitting of unwieldy states you would not go in for splitting of unwieldy administration that you are back to control through large unwieldy bodies and manageable bodies you can provide the answer talking of size to kolkata municipal corporation the brihanagar mumbai municipal corporation are larger in size but we have managed we are managing so don't bring in size there the sum and substance of what i have understood is that you desire to postpone elections that's all because once you go in for a step like this it will go in for a delimitation and that delimitation will take you 18 months and therefore effectively you are bringing a municipal issue to a national issue because exactly 2 years from today we'll be facing a national consensus a national referendum so please do not drag i mean for the sake of retaining power i would submit that we do not break down every institution that we have just for the retention of power when we talk about it i mention about uh, one institution the director of local bodies the present uh, act has a director of local bodies as some sort of an overwatch in the amendment you are wiping out the post of director of local bodies without explanation even on revenue you have not provided an explanation just a one line of saying that revenue is deficit so i would submit sir don't go in i mean even if you have to tamper with institutions please go in for an explanation as to why you did away with it maybe you have some valid reason but we need to be more elaborate more transparent there is a stock that 272 seats would be compacted into 250 section 3 subsection 5 mentions that the central government will decide the number of seats to be decided by the government of india the overwhelming presence of a government of the central government in the delhi municipal corporation act is unbearably unbearably omnipresent it's there everywhere it does not speak the spirit of local body is autonomy autonomy yes. is spontaneity is vibrancy of local decision making not thrusting down from the top yes. this is what hurts us this is what hurts us and my party sincerely believes in it now having spoken on the number of seats as i said it is not 250 let's come out openly and said tomorrow if the central government decides to make it 370 it can make it you are keeping that empowering provisions 
Sir, we are in 2022 when there has been so much talk of the scourge, the curse of scavenging, scavenging and waste disposal. Not a single word. Oh, no, I will not say that. There has been one word on scavenging. That's all. Scavenging and waste disposal should have occupied uh, because this act, the spirit of this act would be copied in other parts of India. And you should have provided a model, even if you had political compulsion for going and for it. Nothing about scavenging, nothing about the curse of scavenging. You have provided for e-governance. E-governance, sir, will be happening anyway, whether you provide for it or not. Now, when you merge all these bodies, what happens is you bring in different cadres. They're humans, they're families. When you bring them together, all this seniority and juniority and other things get in. Morale gets affected. Motivations get affected. Don't, like when you're amalgamating banks, you don't know it'll take you 10 years for issues to be sorted out. Honorable Member mentioned about 12,000 crores. My account says that there is an 11,800 crore running deficit. That is what is required, a bailout package for whoever runs the government. It doesn't matter. It's for the citizens of Delhi, in spite of all the faults that it has. The total liability is 11,800 crores. When will the revenue, when will the package come? Is it tied to this fact? Is it tied to this deal? That is what we would like to do. I repeat, we got up primarily because the Delhi Assembly was not consulted. My Party sincerely believes in consultation with every elected body at every level. We may take their opinion or not, but we need to consult them. This sort of complete unilateralism, let me give you just a few examples, because they strengthen what we have said. Even in COVID, an act that we had prepared, I was also part of the preparation once upon a time, the act, the NDMA Act, was brought in as if it was an enabling, it was a weapon that could be utilized for the uh, totalization of power. That is not the correct attitude. The initial faltering that we made, the mistakes that we made as a nation arises from the mentality of control, control freak, as somebody put it. Even in COVID, there was no consultation at all when the lockout, when the, was, was, when the lockdown was imposed. At every level, every step shows an arrogance, if I may put it, shows an shows a, so uncaring attitude for the sensitivities of others, for regions, for states, as if just a pack of people running in Delhi, including bureaucrats, would determine the fate of every Mohalla of Delhi. No, sir, this yes. will not do. And yes. when the BSF rules were extended to all states, no consultation was made. That was another. Draconian laws and draconian regulations are sought to be expanded at the expense of the, at the contraction of the space available for the individual, for society, local government, and state government. That is my submission. And that is my submission. Even in the ED, the enforcement directed in the CBI, are regularly used to weaponize, to, 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 summon, to, to summon, to humiliate, and to hegemonize over others. It's happening all the time. Now, even in Delhi, I would please, submit. Please, Delhi, please conclude. Delhi, Honorable member, please consult. I'll, I'll, I'll just done. half a minute. I'll try to wrap it up. The submission that I have felt as an outsider to this uh, politics of Delhi is that this is only a ploy to postpone the election, and that is dependent upon the prospects of their victory or not. Do not treat the national capital as just a trump card in your politics by opposed the bill, sir. Thank you.